Do you know that feeling when you want to fix one thing? A possible solution doesn't solve the issue, but results in even more work? Hi everyone, welcome to the very first episode of uh, For Fun Flyer in 2021. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas time uh, despite uh, COVID and uh, great uh, New Year's Eve uh, as well. Uh, and I wish you all the best for the upcoming year and uh, that uh, we get out of this COVID mess uh, as, uh, as soon as possible. Speaking about Christmas, did you guys watch my Christmas special, the previous episode on the channel? Uh, on that episode, Kevin and I reviewed our uh, aviation year of 2020 and asked you guys to submit yours as well. Uh, and what's nice about that episode is that it's not only a, a bit of goofy uh, and corny kind of uh, episode, uh, but uh, it holds uh, uh, some quite nice uh, tips of other YouTube channels and Instagram accounts uh, you might like. But yeah, go ahead and check that out. On the subject of New Year's Eve, I want to briefly mention the initiative uh, Steve Flight Shops did on his channel, where he asked his uh, viewers to submit their uh, year of 2020 in the form of pictures and videos to make a big compilation of the, the year 2020 in aviation of his viewers. Uh, and yeah, I'm a big fan, so I submitted uh, my, uh, my video as well. But in the grand scheme, the, the, the total scale of the project, uh, he kind of, I don't know, uh, missed my video. <laughs> it was tucked away in some folder on his desktop computer. But anyway, uh, my video was not included in the final cut, uh, which of course is a bit, uh, well, a bit uh, disappointing, but it can happen, of course, with, uh, with uh, such a big, uh, big project. I believe he had a couple of hundreds of, uh, of submissions uh, to that, uh, that compilation. But since it was a lot of work to make that short video of only 28 seconds uh, uh, it's a bit of a waste not to use it at all uh, so it's a bit uh, of a strange cut in this episode uh, to jump to to that particular clip but uh, yeah well, I just want to share it with you guys so uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this this video hi Steve Jolmer here from the YouTube channel for fun flyer just like a lot of others I had my fair share of setbacks and disappointments this year but a couple of aviation related goals like finishing up the restoration of my plane, getting my Dutch pilot license and growing my YouTube channel motivated me to push on and overcome the hurdles of 2020. I guess aviation both challenged and rewarded me with motivation when I needed it most. So there you have it. That was my submission, video submission for Flight Shops, his uh, New Year's video compilation of 2021. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this little clip and if there are some ingredients to use, uh, for example, in a uh, new channel trailer video. Or, uh, But yeah, I'm curious of what, uh, what you guys uh, think of it. So let me know in the comments. You probably guessed it by now. Uh, this episode won't be a typical flying video kind of episode, but more like a technical one. Uh, and the main reason for that is that uh, they closed uh, our home airport, Drachten Airport again, due to a national COVID lockdown, uh, which is a bit strange because the rest of the, the airports here in the Netherlands are still open, but uh, yeah, ours is closed. And uh, of course, it's a bit uh, frustrating, but uh, it also opens up the opportunity to do some maintenance. One of the jobs I still had to do on the aircraft was some work on the heat exchanger for the cabin, uh, cabin heating uh, system, uh, which is basically a sort of venturi pipe wrapped around one of the exhaust pipes of the engine, uh, which feeds uh, hot air uh, or warm-ish air into the, the cabin of the, of the plane. Uh, and the outlet port of uh, that heat exchanger was really uh, rusty and uh, almost completely rotten away. Uh, and uh, I don't know who worked on it lastly, but um, there was some kind of improv kind of uh, metal tube uh, hold, it, hold it in place with two rivets. So I asked a, a pilot friend of mine if he could uh, weld up a new uh, nice uh, fresh piece of uh, metal uh, into a tube on the existing uh, heat exchanger. 
uh, and he uh, managed. Uh, it was uh, really uh, a lot of work because the, the existing uh, heat exchanger was really thin uh, metal uh, because of aging, but also, I don't know, the original stuff wasn't that thick as well. Uh, but anyway, he cleaned it up, uh, he, he uh, totally repaired all the little holes, and uh, he managed at the end of the day to uh, weld a nice uh, new piece of uh, tube, a metal tube, uh, on the uh, heat exchanger. And, uh, I'm really happy with uh, with the result. Uh, probably uh, there might be some welder out there that that thinks of it that that could uh, could have been done better. But uh, I think it's it's good to go as it is uh, right now. So uh, yeah, that was one of the jobs I had uh, to do, and that's off my to-do list. One of the next jobs I had to do on my airplane was indeed a little bit of maintenance, some maintenance on my ignition system, to be more exact. Uh, because I noticed a slight uh, difference in RPM drop when doing a magneto check. And on low RPM, uh, low idling, uh, I uh, noticed uh, uh, every now and then a slight uh, vibration in the engine. Uh, and my gut feeling uh, told me uh, that uh, could easily be one of the spark plugs uh, misfiring. Uh, so uh, what I did uh, was to uh, swap all the uh, spark plugs out, but also to shorten the spark plug leads uh, from the high tension coil to the spark plugs just by a half an inch and reconnect the spark plug caps to the leads. Uh, so they have uh, just a little bit of fresh uh, conducting wire uh, to, to feed uh, into the caps. Uh, one of the nice things of uh, being in one hangar with uh, a bunch of aircraft owners is that there are always these interesting projects of uh, someone else that are happening. Um, this aircraft right here, uh, this Technum P92 Echo, uh, classic deluxe, uh, if I remember correctly, is uh, owned by our flying club and is undergoing just one of the biggest maintenance jobs there is and that's an engine change so go ahead and check this out a brand new day and i'm back at the hangar back at my tl96 star uh, to do some uh, ground test runs on the engine to see if all the work i did uh, uh, checks out Welcome back in the cockpit of the TL96 with registration Pop Hotel 3 Golf 2. Uh, it is still me incognito with my uh, glasses. Uh, so uh, yeah, the, I'm about to uh, start uh, the engine for uh, I think it's about four weeks now uh, already. And hopefully everything checks out. So as you saw in uh, the previous uh, couple of shots, uh, the work I did on the ignition system of my engine uh, didn't solve the uh, engine vibration uh, problem. But uh, anyway, uh, that's something uh, that uh, is always uh, good uh, to do every now and then. Uh, but uh, the, the problem is still there, the engine vibrations are still there. So the next uh, best uh, thing to uh, try to, uh, to solve the problem with is uh, with uh, the carburetors. They don't have a lot of hours on them, uh, only 450. Uh, in total, um, give or take, uh, but they are 21 years uh, old um, and uh, there are a lot of gaskets and stuff that uh, can be uh, cracked or, or whatever. I don't know exactly uh, how that uh, stuff works, but anyway, uh, the engine isn't old uh, in regards to hours, operating hours, but in, uh, in years it is um, and they uh, have never been overhauled at all. So, uh, but since uh, the carburetors uh, that are over here, <laughs> Uh, are uh, pretty uh, complex uh, uh, little machines. Uh, that's uh, something uh, that is uh, far beyond my uh, comfort zone. Um, and uh, I asked uh, Utze van der Veld, you know Utze from previous episodes uh, where we flew uh, together to check the Czech Republic, etc. He is into uh, that stuff. 
and this is his uh, workshop over here and uh, he's helping me out with uh, the overhauling uh, of the uh, the carburetors so uh, fingers crossed that this will solve the problem but we have to wait and see if that's the case the installing of the carburetors will be on the next episode because uh, otherwise this episode will run along and uh, i don't want to bore you with uh, too much uh, technical stuff